Hi, my name is Bethany, and I'm a naturalist and storyteller at Tamarack. And this week's story is inspired by a folk tale from England. The grandmother loved her garden, and the grandchild loved coming to visit. It was always like an adventure going to grandmother's house, even though she lived just on the other side of the block. The grandmother and the grandchild would go through the garden together, admiring the tiny purple violets, the white lilacs, the spot where the pink hollyhocks would bloom later in the summer. But the grandmother's favorite were the big red tulips. The grandmother's garden was her art, and she took excellent care. Now this particular spring, the grandchild had come to stay for a few days, and their first night, their window just slightly open, they heard a sound. It wasn't a bird call, and it certainly wasn't their grandmother's voice, and as they listened, it, it became a tune, slow and gentle. It made them very sleepy. And they fell asleep to the sound. The second night, the tune started up again, and as they looked out the window trying to figure out where it was coming from, they noticed that the tulips, well, they were swaying. They were moving back and forth, back and forth, even though there was no breeze. None of the other plants were moving. On the third night, the grandchild went to bed with a plan and with their shoes on. When the song began, they crept out of bed, walked out the door, and crept closer and closer to the tulips. When they realized that the tulips weren't moving on their own, and they weren't moving from the breeze. Every tulip had next to it. Well, it looked like a very small person. They, they looked like small people, but there was one important difference. They had wings. They had wings like, like dragonfly wings. The tulips came up just about to their waist, and the small humans with wings were pushing the tulips back and forth, back and forth. And as the grandchild crept closer, they saw that inside of each tulip was a baby. A baby, one of the creatures, smaller dragonfly wings. Some awake, some smiling, some laughing some fast asleep. And as the grandchild watched, the babies in their cradles fell fast asleep one by one by one. When all of the tiny winged babies in their tulip cradles had fallen asleep, the grown-ups looked at each other. And the song grew faster and happier, and the creatures, they started to dance. They danced from the small purple tulips to the tall white lilacs past the spot where the pink hollyhocks would bloom in the spring, back to the tulips to check on the babies, round and round, and their dancing, it, it was art. It was beautiful. Eventually, the grandchild grew sleepy and went back into bed. But at breakfast the next morning, they could not wait to tell their grandmother what they had seen. And as it all kind of tumbled out, the grandmother tried to make sense of dancing, singing, wings, tulips, song. <laughs> the grandmother figured out what the grandchild had seen and oh, she laughed and smiled. You saw the fairies, you saw my fairies, 
she said. My favorite part of watching the fairies is just before dawn. Would you like to stay another night and watch? The grandchild stayed another night. And in the morning before dawn, the grandmother gathered up the grandchild. They went outside together and watched as the fairies gathered up their babies them and kissed them and just as dawn broke they disappeared it was a wonderful summer the grandmother taught the grandchild how to care for the garden how to plant new plants she explained how the tulips came from bulbs and how to plant them about the depth of the child's hands how to tuck them in carefully into the soil and wait for winter. Wait until spring came and they would come back up. It was a beautiful summer and a beautiful fall. But there came a morning when the grandmother didn't wake up. She had died. The grandchild was heartbroken. And when they heard their mother on the phone saying, we'll have to sell her house, oh, those beautiful gardens. Well, the grandchild knew what to do. They grabbed their trowel, their tiny shovel, and they snuck around the block to their grandmother's house and they dug up every tulip bulb they could find. Carrying them home, they planted them in the yard just the depth of their hand, tucking them in for winter, just like their grandmother had described. And they waited. They waited through November and December, no change. They waited through January and February, no change. But one day, spring came. They went outside to find tiny triangles of green popping through the soil where they had planted those tulip bulbs. They watched them grow taller and taller, and on the first day that those tulips bloomed, well, the grandchild could hardly wait to go to bed. Their mother was a little bit confused by that. They were all tucked in when the darkness fell and a familiar tune began. They snuck out the door and saw fairies pushing the tulips back and forth, a baby in each one. And as they watched, the babies fell asleep and the fairies began to dance across the lawn. And it was beautiful. And it was art. It didn't seem right for the fairies only to dance on the lawn, so the grandchild planted some small purple violets, tall white lilacs, some spot for the hollyhocks pink to bloom later in the summer. The grandchild missed their grandmother terribly. But with the fairies dancing and the garden that they'd built, it was almost, almost like she was there. Thank you for listening to our story this week. I hope you go have adventures. I hope that you go make your own art.